Hey everyone, how are you all doing? This is Spike here, and it's Wednesday. It is time to start the new tour. We're going to be taking a look at the Autumn Tour, um, which is featuring Tanuki Mira and Tanuki Rosalina. How interesting. I know a lot of people are excited for this, especially Tanuki Mario. Uh, me personally, if I'm being honest, I don't really care. I never grew up with um, Mario 3 or, or wherever he originated from um, and his design overall just doesn't really appeal to me, he just looks a bit bland, honestly. <laughs> just my opinion though, uh, I'm happy for everyone that's excited for him. Um, and then Tanuki Rosalina, in my opinion, just looks wrong, I don't know. I'm just saving my rubies this tour, unless the special pipe is something really good. Nothing wrong with saving rubies after all. Okay, awesome. We're back to the new loading screens. Uh, we're gonna have Maple Tree Way. Oh, that one, hang on. Yeah, Halloween Peach and LM King Boo. I suppose they're probably going to be in the special pipe. If that is the case, I am definitely skipping. I have both of them. LM King Boo is trash and Halloween Peach is ugly as hell. So, uh, uh, Chuck Island 1RT. So, yeah, I'm assuming there's no new maps this tour. Ah, we got Halloween Lakitu back. So, I'm wondering if this is going to technically be the Halloween tour of this year, even though it's not called a Halloween tour, because next tour should be a verse tour. Uh, if they really want to go with the Halloween theme, it would be nice if they went with Luigi vs. King Boo. That would be a good one. Um, oh yes, I did win this race, hopefully. I was 8k points ahead. And I was for like the last four days of the tour. Yeah, awesome. I was really sad that I wasn't gonna get Blue Birdo because the first week went so bad I came like 16th or something and then my loadouts weren't even that good for the second week I just got really lucky with my ranking I guess with the um, opponents I'm so happy that I got her not that I'm gonna really use her that much probably but I just like collecting everything so yeah awesome 8k points lead Woot. Uh, we won't look at that yet, even though we know most of the things already about this tour because of the trailer. I'm going to talk about that later. Um, although I have forgotten the cart and glider to be fair, but we already know Tanuki, Mario and Rosalina. Oh, before I forget, we've got the gift here. The... Oh my god. <laughs> was that really the coin count that they said? I didn't even realise, not going to lie. I thought it was 10k. Jeez, I have so many coins now. This is literally the most coins I've ever had. Just wow. Okay. <laughs> That's going to go down to zero eventually though. I spend these coins really quickly. Uh, okay, drivers. So yeah, we've got Blue Bird now. That's awesome. I also have so many tickets as well. She's in ranked this week. Uh, not that one. That one. Yeah, 22. That will get her up to 7 immediately. Um... Oh, okay, Rose Pauline's actually in a pack. So we've ju just got these two and that's it. Uh, what's the Nuki Mario gonna... Oh! <laughs> well, they're both gonna have the new item, obviously. The Super Leaf, or... Is it the Super Leaf? Is that what it's called? Let's see. Yeah, Super Leaf. Swing the fluffy tail to knock over nearby opponents. Wow. And I assume Tanuki Rosa... Yeah, she has the same thing. Um, okay, cool. Let's have a look at the carts. See what we've got. Ah, the Bolt Bucky is in the, one of the shops. Probably the tier shop? Ah, oh, that's awesome. It's one of the ones I'm missing. I'm sure a lot of people are missing that one. Uh, oh wow, look at that thing. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh my god, Head Honcho is in one of the shops. Again, probably the tier shop. 
That's awesome. Okay, what's this? Tanuki cart, Slipstream. Oh, oh my god, guys. Worst cart in the game is Slipstream. No, that's not how it works. Gliders. Gliders, gliders, gliders. We got two new gliders, the same type. These power foils. Um. Oh, it's a gold one. Of course, there's a gold one in the gold pass. Tanuki power foil, mushroom, and gold Tanuki power foil coin. Of course, it's coin. What else would it be? Uh, challenges. Let's take a look. Oh wow, well. <laughs> bus driver Waluigi. Wah. Wah. It's nice to actually have someone that's not freaking classic Mario though. Like it always is. Um, total multiplayer challenges. Oh. Two total point challenges now. Oh, okay. Well this one would be easy. Uh, and what do we get there? Wicked Wings. Okay, well that's not a very rare glider, but not expected for only getting a 300k points. I'm sure most people can't do that. But look at all these tickets, and it goes up to 700 now. I really like this. This is awesome. I don't know if I'll even be able to get up to 700, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I wonder if this is a permanent change now, or whether this is just because of the autumn celebration or whatever. But, um, like, after I get 600k, usually I can actually get more points on all of the maps, and I just stop because there's no reason for me to go any higher because I don't care about ACP or anything. So that's nice to actually have now. Um, okay. So let's see what the premium challenge is. King for bomb. Okay, yeah. He's alright, but he is permanent. Um, let us check on the shop. Okay, so Black Yoshi Peck. Uh, not that he's been in a, he's been in a pack a few times now, but he's permanent. He's not very rare anymore. Pauline Rose with the Lime Tea Coupe or Lime Tea Coop. Um, and that's it at the moment, of course. Got, let's have a look at this quickly. I mean, I guess it's just gonna be a six spotlight 100 pipe, right? Six high end 100 pipe, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not pulling this one. Um, oh, the bolt buggy is in the tier shop, okay. I wonder how we collect the tokens this time. Probably from courses, but we'll see on that in a minute. Let's get this guy, this guy's nearly on seven now. With my 40k coins, and I still also get this. Uh, maybe I should turn the volume down. Oh, okay, it's already on the minimum actually. It just sounds really loud. Okay. We're not gonna get any of that rubbish. I'm definitely getting you right now. Because I do not have you yet. It's nice to get. Probably won't bother with the butterfly sunset. Unless it's one of my best gliders, I'll have to take a look at my tracker. And I will get Monty Mole. Already down to 26k. God. Oh, already getting challenges. Get an item from the tier shop. Thank you very much. That was very, very challenging. Very challenging. Um. Oh yes, gold pass gifts. I always forget the gold pass gifts. Um, gold, um, Tanuki Power Foil, Minion Paper Glider, cool, got the Warship and the Pipe Buggy, Warship is a Gold Pass exclusive, it hasn't appeared, it has appeared a few times, oh yeah, actually it appeared in the, uh, the Token Shop, I think that one time, so most people would probably have that now. Uh, Boomerang Burra and Shy Guy, Red B Dash appearing in the gold pass for the mini of time, and Yellow Turbo Birdo. Um, well, gold pass probably going to be worth it just for that new glider there. Um, anything else? No, I think it's just news now. 
An event just for this fall has started. Yes, this started last tour, actually. Thank you very much. Cool. Ah, oh, That's a shame. It's a tour exclusive. It's, it's the autumn celebration exclusive. Wah, wah, wah. That's that's so sad. Not to worry. Uh, autumn starts now. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, twenty-two k coins. That's very generous. Very generous. Uh, probably no changes there. It'd be nice if they would add some more daily specs though. Um, first pipe is here. We already saw this. Um, get event tokens by making opponents crash. Oh yes, they changed this, didn't they? I think. Um, <clears throat> tokens by any event has also begun. During these events, players can collect green coins in ways that can differ from event to event. Event tokens collected during a particular event can be exchanged for items in the token shop, of course. This time you'll catch them by making opponents crash. So not on courses this time, just by making opponents crash in general. Doesn't matter whether it's with bananas or bombs, anything. That's good. During this event you'll get event tokens when you cause opponents to crash during a race. Also during the tour you can collect event tokens by taking out jack o lanterns like last year. Awesome. Tokens plenty. Oh yeah, so it's going to be similar to the coins of plenty one. That's good, although I don't think many people would honestly care for that. I don't think that many people struggle to collect all of their event tokens. Um, I mean, yesterday, yesterday I would admit it was a bit of a struggle for me because I didn't play that much. And I had to collect about 600 event tokens to get the last six high ends at the top of the token shop. I was there for like two hours all the way till half two in the morning um, but that was an exception because there was a lot more than there usually is um, but wow okay this is really gonna make grinding for those a lot easier uh, yep we already know about that cool okay now it's just the banners a uh, message that was yesterday, not yesterday, day after. Okay, that's pretty much it then. So let's take a look at the top shelves. But first, I'm going to get a drink of tea. Okay, you know what? Let's actually do this quick play first. Our mix truck item one. So yeah, let's talk about the trailer reveal. So they're going to be revealing the trailer now on Fridays instead of the usual little um, bit of the driver head or whatever or arm, you know. So, so that's going to really cut down on the speculation. Um, I know a lot of people are happy about the change because... It means you get to decide in the current tour whether you want to save rubies for whatever's coming next tour or um, or spend them now because you're not interested in what's next tour so that's good I'm glad people are happy about it for me personally I'm not happy because um, my motivation for the game has really been declining a lot over the last uh, after la over the last half year actually it's got a bit better recently but one of the only things that I still really enjoy with this game is opening the app on Wednesdays and just taking a look at all of the different driver carts and gliders for myself in the menus like you know me I don't even look at the news section straight away I don't even look at the trailer at all I'm probably one of the only people that actually just go straight to the, uh, the menus because I enjoy looking at those myself but now I can't do that anymore because they're just gonna go ahead and reveal it all on Friday so I already know what's coming it's just not gonna be as exciting like 
uh, like Pirate Tour, for example, I was so excited when, um, about the whole, is it Pirate Junior, is it Pirate Mary, although at the same time I was very, I was panicking quite a bit as well, if it was Pirate Mario, because that's who I thought it was going to be, but it was still really fun to speculate. And like, especially with the uh, the Sydney tour as well, like there are so many, um, so so many predictions for that one on who it could possibly be. Is it Yoshi? Is it Diddy Kong? Is it Bowser Jr.? Who knows? But it was Yoshi in the end. A lot of pe uh, a few people were expecting it, but others weren't. I know not all of the those reveals are like that, like. Pirate Tour and the Sydney Tour were like two of the only ones that we actually couldn't tell what the driver is straight away, but I don't know. I missed the Silhouette ones, man. Those were awesome. Rant over anyway. Uh, let's take a look at ranks. Uh, okay, well. Oh, these are all um, old tracks, so I should have full coverage for all of them anyway. Oh, actually, Chunk Island 1RT. I think that's a new course. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that's a new course. Uh, Maple Tree Way anyway, so we've got Fairy Daisy at the highest level here, so I'd probably use her. Then Lime to Coop, um, and the Tobin Bloons. Oh no, we've got Swooper there, okay. Might get that to 6 or something. We'll see. Um, Sunset Worlds T. <laughs> we've got Blue Birdo there. Ah, well I've got Monty Mulder already on free, but I could, but I'm expecting Blue Birdo, well, she is new, so she's going to be getting buffed over the next few tours. I expect she's probably going to get somewhat on Blue Yoshi's level, or even if not quite Blue Yoshi, she's. I'm pretty sure she's going to be better than Monty Mulder in the long run. Um, and Dashring is a bit better than Mushroom Cannon, I'd say. Uh, so I'll be using her and investing in her if I don't bother with any of these other guys, which I probably won't. Um, then black, oh no, cranky cut. Oh, cl cranky cut, oh my god. DK reference? Clanky cut, I mean. <laughs> um, silver bells. I think that the DK reference has guaranteed that there's going to be a DK alt now. Before, before Christmas, I'm gonna be very disappointed if there isn't one now. Um, Chocolate Island One RT. Oh yeah, this is a new course, all right, that's for sure. Leader Hosan, yes, I literally just got him last tour. Uh, I'm so happy. Okay, awesome. Um, none of my, none of my B dashes are coming in clutch here. But I've got uh, these guys at least. I could invest in this Dasher too. I mean, it's one of the worst supercars, I think. But we'll see. Ah, uh, oh, no glider. That is a shame. Not to worry. Not to worry. Uh, what what week is it anyway? I've lost track. Oh, it's a cart week. Okay. Cool. Right. Um. So I think. Shy Eye is probably next. Yeah, I mean, that adds up. You've got Halloween Peach Day, you've got LM King Boo, who's. Oh no, they won't be in a special pipe. They'll be. Oh no. Huh. Now I'm confused. No, it must be Tanuki Rose Lena that's in the second pipe, surely. But the thing is, we don't usually have the special pipe items. In ranks for the second week. Oh, I'm really confused now because actually, Halloween Peach and LM were on the the new loading screen, and I don't think Tanuki Rosalina was there. And usually they show the second week drivers on there. So that's making me think that these two are probably in the second week pipe, and Tanuki Rosalina is in the special pipe. That's a bit odd, but. That's what I'm thinking. You know what? I could actually tell from the pipe 
to see if Tanuki Rose Nina's in there or not, and if Halloween Peach and LM. Okay, so Halloween Peach LM is in there, so they're definitely in the second week. And Tanuki Rose Nina isn't there, so yeah, she's in the second. She's in the special pipe. That's surprising. Wow. Okay, so probably going to be shy guiding. Considering we've got these two. Maple Tree ART, is that a new one? I think that might be a new one as well. Hmm, not sure. I think it is. Uh, I'll be using Reindeer probably. Unless I invest in Cat Toad. But I'm definitely not investing in Reindeer because he is very bad, sadly. Although I do like him a lot. Hey, we got the Karakar, the legendary Karakar. Although, to be honest, for this particular map, I think Jump Boost would probably be better. So I'd probably go with the Kamex Broom. And then the Black Ray Sail, getting buffed again. Of course. And then Ghost Valley 1R. Nice to see the Ghost Valley courses come back. Um, Alright, a lot of choice here. But I think it's going to be King Boo. Because I'm not invested in investing in stupid gold King Bubble. I hate that guy. My least favourite coin box driver in the game. Um, then I suppose probably the green kitty cut. Maybe I want to upgrade warship to 20 <laughs> of to level 7 just to be more unique. I mean, I have enough tickets, so I could do. Well, I've already got it double. That's yeah, that's double capped, right? Yeah, double capped. I could triple cap it. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Is this actually? Yeah, you know, this is probably the one I'll be using actually, thinking about it. Uh, oh no, I need to see what glider. Yeah, there we go. Banana power foil. I can probably double cap that. Yeah. Just enough tickets to double cap it. Okay. This week's looking good. And Donut Plains 2RT. We've got Black Birdo again. I really should invest in her, I just don't like her though, to be honest. I'd rather invest in ones that I actually like the design of, and Black Birdo is just lazy. Um, Black Dozer, however, I do really like. And Silver Starshoot. I mean, kind of screwed on this one because these are all very fan favorite items that people have probably invested heavily into. Lots of people probably have level 7 Black Birdos, level 7 Silver Star Shoots, triple capped. So yeah, maybe a little bit screwed there. Maybe a little bit screwed. Um, but I think that's going to be just about it really. Could try, yeah, you know, let's try Maple Tree Bay RT. That's a lot more interesting than the new Choco Island. Uh, it's nice to see Maple Tree Boy back in ranked as well. Um, there we go. It's nice to see it back in ranked. It's a really nice course. I'd admit it's not one of my favourites in ranked uh, specifically. Quite hard to keep combo on. Um, especially at that wiggler part. I don't, yeah, I don't know, man. But I do like the course a lot. This is a very, this is a, this was a fan favorite in Mario Kart Wii after all, and I'll admit, it wasn't really one of my favorites in Mario Kart Wii, but now that it's coming back, I do really like it. It's a nice little course. Oh yeah, and that little narrow section as well. So hard to keep combo on in the R version, I think it was. Ah, oh, I hate that part. Oh yes, banana frenzy. Can we get a? Can we get? Can this be the run <laughs> already? Imagine. I mean, I haven't maxed my base points of the cart and glider yet, so it won't be the run. But it could be a run, that's for sure. Do 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 do. Love the, the music's great, to be honest. Um, I honestly I prefer the the remix version in Paper Mario the Origami King. That was a nice little reference to this, and I didn't even notice it on my first playthrough as well, which is funny. But yes, in terms of the updates, um, I am getting 
My motivation for the game has drained a little, but I'm not planning on quitting anytime soon, to be honest. There are a lot more things that's making me want to stay in the game than that's making me want to quit. When those things that's making me want to stay in the game are stopped, then yeah, I'll have more. I'll, uh, I'll want to quit probably more, but right now I am staying and working on my app. And I hope you all look forward to that. I'm trying to make it look as awesome as possible in this ne not this next update as in the one coming out this tour but the one after there'll be a complete new UI rework it's gonna look so awesome really freaking awesome okay awesome nice 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 already getting challenges how wonderful there we go Get a fantastic combo a total of five times beautiful so i think that's gonna be it then this is gonna be a, a saving tour for me um not really anything too special about this tour i uh, i do appreciate the ranked cups though they're more unique than usual uh not a fan of the choco island and donut planes but glad we're getting ghost valley back again that course was pretty much dead and Maple Treeway, noise welcome. Sunset was getting a bit bored of it, but yeah, not too bad of a Reigns Cup, I'd say. Uh, and then I'll just be saving on these pipes. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for this tour. And hopefully the next verse tour will be a bit better than the last few. Although I doubt it make any changes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.